Island? Rappers Island? I had to ask you, man, was the CD scratched? <laughs> The barbershop, you know, we don't have no human resources, so we talk about everybody and anybody all the time. <laughs> we talk about white people, yeah. Asian people, Spanish people, <laughs> yeah, we talk about black people, midgets, people in wheelchairs. Yeah, we talk about people in wheelchairs, fuck them too, they be real disrespectful people, they bound to roll over your foot or something, they pull their ass out in the middle of the street. You know? And I, I won't forget this, this, this dude in the wheelchair, he was waiting on the barber next to me and he was like looking at his watch and like, yeah, Kenny, man, what's going on with him, man? I called him an hour ago. And I was like, man, relax, it ain't like you gotta run no errands. <laughs> misdemeanors and 33 felonies. Huh? And I was like, from the wheelchair? Because <laughs> all, all I was thinking was, how'd you get all your charges to add up exactly to 100? That's some bullshit, man. <laughs> and like I said, we talk about gays too. Unless they're there. <laughs> There's this big 6'2", 285 pound dude that I cut came in the shop the other day. He had on some Chinese flip flops and a French manicure on his toe. <laughs> Now, we in a barbershop with 11 barbers. I know somebody had an opinion, but then nobody say shit. <laughs> Hold on, I take it back. The barber next to me was like, damn, that's a French manicure? <laughs> that dude was like, yeah, and it felt good when they gave it to me too, because my toes was like, err. <laughs> about him again. <laughs> We're just talking about the fact that if you get into it with a gay dude, it's a no-win situation. Yeah. You whoop his ass, you go into jail, that's gay bashing. He whoop your ass, he might kiss you. <laughs> Worst case scenario, he knock you the fuck out, you wake up in a strange room and he's sitting on the edge of the bed winking at you. <laughs> laughing a lot. <laughs> the girl outside told me I wasn't a comedian. I told her she wasn't American. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking about this whole comedy thing, man, and I was like, you know, it's, it's a good thing for me because even God himself is a comedian. You know, God is a nut. You know, ladies, how many times you guys seen that hunk of a man? You know, mm. you know, he got the Rick Fox look and the light eyes. And you go to lock eyes with him and you see that one of them is lazy. <laughs> hey, fellas, how many times you been in a bank, grocery store, walking down the street and you see a girl with a fat ass? God! If you're on the street, you might have crawled her for a couple blocks. Like, I ain't going this way, but hey! So I like to live by Bachelor 101. I'm going to give you an example. 
The light in my bathroom was getting dimmer and dimmer for about 30 days, but I didn't change it. Because I couldn't see the towels and I didn't have to wash them. <laughs> and if a girl came to my house and was complaining about her not being able to see in the bathroom, I knew she wasn't the one for me. Now, the girl that comes over and is like, you know what, I'm gonna replace that light for you. I know we got a future. And when she puts the light in, she'll see that my shower curtain got the MTA subway map on it and she'll see how to get her ass home in the morning. <laughs> So anyway, I was, reading, I was reading the post the other day, and um, I noticed that they were coming out with a new gay superhero. <laughs> Superman. I don't, you know, I don't really know like who they're trying to attract with that, because I don't want to see a bunch of ten-year-old kids running around with purses instead of lunch pails. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, what in the hell would a gay superhero? Powers be. One look in his eyes. <laughs> and then do you like that snake did Mowgli on the jungle boy? Next thing you know, you want some chicken McNuggets or a Big Mac from that McDonald's right here on West 3rd. You know the one with the closet doors on the front. So after you get your food, you gotta come out the closet. <laughs> so I saw a red light. That's it? Okay, so my time is up. My name is Kitty Warren. Yay! And